everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reading to you Tiny Miss Dot and Her Dotty Umbrella by Michelle Osman and Sarah Nesley Anderson. When Tiny Miss Dot trotted off down the lane, she took her umbrella in case it might rain. Miss Dot volunteered at the charity store. She left her umbrella outside by the door. Soon she got busy unpacking some bags, hanging up garments, and writing on tags. Martin Maloney had bought a nice shirt. His old one was crumpled and covered with dirt. Tiny Miss Dot called out, Please come again. Then Martin Maloney stepped out in the rain. Oh no, Grandma the boy, my shirt will get wet. I still have some shopping that I have to get. He saw the umbrella outside by the fan and said, I'll be back just as soon as I can. He splish splashed his way to the Keys music store and left the umbrella outside by the door. He wandered past keyboards, recorders and recorders a drum. He found a guitar picked to wear on his thumb. Emily Pink, who had been there for ages, was browsing through music books, flicking through pages. Leaving the poodle, she kept on her chain. She paid for the book and stepped out in the rain. Eek, squared the girl. We mustn't get wet, but I still have some shopping that I have to go get. She saw the umbrella outside by the post and said, We'll be back in an hour, the most. She danced all the way to the hairdressing store and left the umbrella outside by the door. She nestled herself in the pink leather chair, the hairdresser cut, and then styled her hair. Timothy Turner was in there as well. His hair had been cut and spiked up with some gel. He leapt from his chair with his red and white plane. He followed his dad and stepped out in the rain. Dad yelled, the boy in my hair will get wet. And dad replied, son, we have some shopping to get. He saw the umbrella popped by the sill and said, we'll be back. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. They hurried along to the charity store and left the umbrella outside by the door. Timothy raced up and down all the aisles. He found some old records all heaped up in piles. A recording in one hand is playing in the air. He suggested, let's try old gramophone here. Tiny Miss Dot said, let's give it a whirl. She gracefully, gracefully danced with a twist and a twirl. She came to a stop and said, wow, that was fun. Then she picked up her ba bag and stepped out in the sun. Well, she exclaimed, well, well, she exclaimed, it's a beautiful day. I've got shopping to do, so I'll be on my way. She saw her umbrella outside by the wall and said, I need not have brought this at all. The end. I hope you enjoyed Tiny Miss Dot and her Dotty Umbrella. And I'll see you next time when I read my next book. Goodbye.